Our top story, we are learning more about the death of a St. Johns County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Michael Kunovich, who collapsed and died after struggling with the man he was trying to detain. Our Andrew Badillo is on your side. He joins us in the studio tonight. And Andrew, I know you read through the newly released incident report. What does it say? Anthony, the report is 44 pages and includes pictures of the knife. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office says 18 year old Virgilio Mendez had with him. Now, according to the report, the medical examiner says Michael Kunovich died from an irregular heartbeat with physical exertion and possible emotional stress while trying to arrest Mendez contributing to Kunovich's death. In May at night at the Super 8 Motel, Sergeant Michael Kunovich approached Virgilio Mendez, identifying him as a suspicious person. The incident report says Kunovich called for backup. After two minutes of questioning, a struggle started between the two. In this 44-page incident report, it says Mendez didn't speak English. Responding deputies gave their account of the 4-minute, 30-second struggle between Kunovich and Mendez. The report says one deputy says Mendez got hit several times with a stun gun. After Mendez was handcuffed, deputies discovered this knife in his balled-up fist. Mendez was told several times to drop the knife, which was never opened. Shortly after, Sergeant Kunovich collapsed and died. In the report, one deputy said Sergeant Kunovich would have been alive if it wasn't for the incident and interaction with Mendez. Other deputies said Kunovich previously complained of back pain and respiratory issues like bronchitis, but he seemed normal and fine the day he died. The state attorney's office has charged Mendez with aggravated manslaughter of an officer and resisting with an office an officer with violence, both felony charges. According to the incident report, Mendez is a migrant worker from Guatemala, and he told police he was previously in immigration custody for six months. We reached out to Mendez's attorney for comment and are waiting to hear back. In studio, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.